Welcome back, fanatics. I'm Giles, and today we're building a PC, and this thing is gonna be a baller. This is gonna be my personal use PC. It's gonna be used for gaming, editing, productivity work, the whole deal. So it's gotta be good. And uh, this one didn't end up being cheap either. And uh, it's using this new Lee and Lee uh, Dynamic Evo case, and we're gonna do a vertical mount on the video card which is gonna be really awesome. So make sure you stick around so you can see how that works. Now, remember, you're here at Home Theater Fanatics, the Fanatics Network, and this is the channel that you come to when you wanna live that high-tech, hi-fi lifestyle. So if you're into home theater, if you're into two-channel music, if you're into PCs, if you're into gaming, if you're into movies, this is the spot for you. So take a moment, like, and subscribe right now because this build is gonna be a banger. To kick things off, let's talk a little bit about what I'm going for on this build. So it needs to have a ton of performance. So the gear that I'm using is pretty high end. Um, you know, it's not server grade type of equipment, but for uh, a PC that you have in your home, this is kind of on the higher end of what you might look at as you're starting to build stuff. And I'll talk about these components in just a second. But the general idea is I'm going for a black and white motif that is gonna be a build that most anybody could do. So I'm not gonna do a custom loop. I will use an AIO uh, for CPU cooling, but the video card is gonna be air cooled. Now, it's gonna be shoved into a vertical position, which is different and it's gonna be really cool. That will allow kind of that chimney action for cooling so air can come up from the bottom and flow from the bottom to the top without that video card sticking out in the middle to kind of interrupt that airflow. So that's the plan there. Um, you know, I'm using this uh, Republic of Gaming Maximus Z690 board. This thing is killer. Now, I'm not gonna unbox all of these pieces in this video because we've all seen a ton of unboxings, but this thing's like 800 bucks and it's got a bunch of stuff in here. So I will take a moment to look at the contents of this box. Um, a couple other design philosophy items here. This is gonna sit on top of my desk. So uh, I'll be able to see the LCD that's on this cooler and the one that's built into the system board. Yeah, it's got LCD as well. Um, so I'm excited for that. You know, I want that kind of good look. I'm not looking for super, super RGB, although, you know, I, I do have the course here for that. Um, but I do want to be able to see uh, specifications on the machine without having them on my screen. So I can see cooling temperatures and that kind of stuff just by glancing over at the at the case itself. And it'll have a good look. Um, you know, EVGA on the video side. Now this is the new special edition of the Core i9. Um, that'll be a cool add here. Samsung on the NVMe, two terabytes, and then all of the cooling is gonna come from Corsair along with the memory. Uh, couple of reasons for that. I just like Corsair, but it's easier to deal with the RGB when it's all Corsair. Um, and the uh, the motherboard will integrate pretty well with that. Video card won't really integrate <laughs> at all, but you know, that's what you get. Thanks AVGA. Um, but uh, that's why I'm gonna shove this thing off to the back and hopefully it won't be that noticeable. I'm not making the build to show off the video card. It is a 3090, it's a very nice card. Um, the build really is just gonna focus on holistically a good looking unit um, that's gonna be super high performance. Now, let's go ahead and unbox the system board so you can see what's in here. And then maybe I'll install that video card first since it's gonna be shoved in the side. And then I'll move on to installing this and the associated pieces. Now we're gonna to get to the fun part of the build. And this really is the, the the magic for this particular build and it's the upright GPU kit. So the idea is that we're gonna take this 3090 and it's gonna mount in here like this, right? And then we'll have the cooler up here for the CPU. So we gotta get this guy mounted in here. And to do that, we're gonna use that kit for in the box that I just showed you. Now the kit, 
is comprised of a bracket and the bracket is probably gonna fit in here somewhere like this. We'll figure that out in a bit. It's got bits and pieces, um, a couple of L's for something, we'll figure it out. And then a big long cable. I actually have an extension because what I wanna do with this cable is run it under, back around, and then plug into the card here coming through uh, these grommets. So the ideas come down around up and under so that I'm not running across the front of the system board. Uh, we'll see how that goes. Um, but first step is we're gonna figure out how to install this. Um, instructions, I think are gonna be key. And there's a lot to this. Hopefully it doesn't really matter too much as we as we dig through it, but I'm gonna go ahead and dig in and try and figure it out. And I think the first thing is to remove this panel, but let's, uh, let's, let's get rolling and see what happens. All right, we are situated. This is the rear of the case. This is the right-hand side if you're looking at it from the face on. We have to take this uh, panel out and replace it with the accessory panel. So it says you push here and this will release somehow and allow it to come out. All right, it's in there pretty snugly, but there we go. That's toolless release and this part will get set to the side. Now the, the orientation of this is important. So if you see all these vertical lines and the big holes, that's gonna to be toward the front of the chassis. So it'll slide in to the slots, get it all the way down. That should line up these top ones and you can make it click into place. So that is now installed. Look at that, that's, that's, pretty, that's pretty swanky. Now that the support bracket is mostly installed, we've got to pull out this tray, right? And this is what the uh, card will actually bolt into. But there we go, now we've got this thing hanging. And if you look closely, let me readjust this just a little bit so you can see better. This grommet is lined up pretty directly with the connector. So the cable should be able to go straight through here, no problem. Some things to keep in mind when you do a vertical mount like this on a GPU. One, your cables are gonna have to come here, right? So your video cable, you won't have access on the back panel like you usually do. So it's gonna be more difficult to move this thing around because when you need to unplug this, you've really gotta get in here to get to that cable. And you know, that cable will plug in here, then run through this hole in the top and then out the back, and there should be a grommet, yeah, there's a grommet back here for that here on the top. 
So that'll be for your video connection. Internally, your power will pop out here and will run through, gosh, I guess maybe they'll fit through these holes here. There are three of these, so that's quite a bit of power cabling that you're gonna have to route. But we'll figure that out um, as, we, as we need to. Um, I, it could just run underneath and then back through uh, this grommet here. And then your, uh, your, your cable, your actual PCIe cable will run through here. And we're gonna go ahead and try and cable that up now. So we've got two cables that I'm gonna try and use to get this job done. So this is the cable that came with the actual vertical mount kit and it's white. And uh, you know, the idea is that this is the piece that plugs into the card. And then this is the piece that plugs into the system board. Well, since I wanna run this through, it's not long enough. So I purchased the extension cable from Lee and Lee as well. And we're gonna see if we can get this to work. So, um, you know, this seats into the card. And we're gonna have to give it a pretty tight bend to get it to go through. And then this will go to the back. So let's see if we can make this work. So one thing that I've noticed is that this cable that I have has got a 90 degree connector on it, meaning that this cable comes in and then the actual plug-in is at 90 degrees to the way the cable comes out. If this cable just came into the bottom straight, that would probably be a lot easier to deal with, but it doesn't and we got what we got. So we're gonna try and figure this out now. All right, this 90 degree is just not gonna work out here. It needs to be straight on. So I'll keep this for another day and we'll just run this in front. It won't be as pretty, but I think this will work um, like this. So let's give this a shot and see this should come off. That looks like, that looks like that's that. So then this will loop around and plug into your system board, something like this. Okay, what we've got here is the Asus ROG, the Republic of Gamers Maximus Z690 formula. And it's a white-ish motherboard with all of the bells and whistles. Um, this guy is eight bells, so, it's no joke <laughs> um, as far as weight goes, because it's freaking heavy, or on the pocketbook. So you gotta be serious when you're stepping up into this. And um, they didn't send me this one, I paid for this. So I'm feeling every penny here. So um, I'm, I hope it works well. So we're uh, pulling out the Tomodachi, the small one today. Shing, Tomodachi. And uh, we're gonna open this guy up um, nice and fresh factory sealed. Tomodachi, -ching. okay, so much for, for that. Um, oh, is there more that I need? Oh, it just opens like that, all right. Ooh, okay, first off, before we get into this, thank you, Tomodachi. Shing! <laughs> um, all right, let's see if I can get this where you can see this. Uh, it, it opens up and it's like, the, the box is really nice in Republic of Gamers and Silver for those who dare spend a shit ton of money. Um, and I, I dare, I, I mean, I'm, I'm that guy. Uh, packaging super nice, although look, it's ripped in here. They ripped it. They totally ripped it when they packed it. That's not nice. I'm unhappy to have a ripped thing inside of my $800 system board. Um, so someone who packaged this, shame on you. Uh, God, I don't even know what to do now. <laughs> How do you get this thing out of the, the box? So. This is the LCD that I was talking about. So this is supposed to light up and, you know, it's even covered with a cool little protector, um, but you can have it display stuff. How do you, how does it, oh my God, it's freaking heavy. Okay. Ooh. Oh, all right. So, well, that, that's kind of nice the way it all comes out in that. We'll set this to the side. Oh my God. That is, that's metal. I mean, that is, that's not cheap. That's, that's, that's hardcore. All right, now, this is kind of interesting because this is another chunk of aluminum and this is, uh, this is for M2 cards. So 
I don't know if you can really see, but right here you can see some headers for the M2s where they plug in, and this plugs into a, a PCIe slot. Um, so the Republic of Gaming ROG Gamers Hyper M2 card. I don't know that I'll actually use this, but um, if you need to add a ton of storage to a machine and you want to go with some fast M2s, hey, this is this is slick. Um, I don't know how valuable this is for me, but you know, I've got it, <laughs> so I've, I have it. Also, there's a uh, USB stick for a purpose that I don't know. Maybe this is for recovery of BIOS. Um, first time I'm seeing this, so we'll figure this stuff out together, but hey, there's one in there. Moving on down. Uh, get ready to rock the gaming world with ROG. Maybe we should call it Rogue. Um, anyway, so nice little card. And the instruction manual is nice and silver E. Or maybe these, oh, no, it's stickers. If you like stickers, there's like a ton of stickers. Um, I will not be using these, I don't think. I'm not a sticker guy. Um, here's the book, yay. And then I assume under here, yeah, let me turn this side a little so you can kind of see in here with me. Um, there's, there's all kinds of stuff. So uh, for your storage, I don't know, more little screws, all kinds of little screws and uh, this looks like it's for RGB and antenna for the Wi-Fi 6 and some table cable ties and more for storage and I guess for more RGB. So lots of connectors and then including one that I, this is a mystery to me. I don't, I don't really know what that's for, um, but it's in there. So plenty of stuff. Oh, and a, a sticky. So I just wanted to give you guys a look at this thing. Ooh, I guess before I go, we should really pull the system board out and put it on top so you can see the main event. All right, God, it's heavy. I mean, this is, it's redonkulously heavy. So full back plate on this guy. I mean, it's, it's, it has got everything going on that you could ever possibly imagine. And rear, Full shielding on the front. This is a, this is a piece of art. This thing is gorgeous. I mean, it's really really pretty. Um, I bet it looks really good inside the case. All right, let's get going. Now we're going to get the system board ready for installation, and the primary pieces we're going to install here are the NVMe, and that's uh, that's this guy. And for those that don't know, this is the new version of the SSD um, and it mounts right on the system board. So we're going to mount it underneath this panel. We'll have to take this off. We're going to put in two sticks of memory here. Um, I would like to put in four, but that stuff costs a lot. So <laughs> you're getting two sticks. And then we're going to put the processor in right here for those who dare. Okay, so let's see if we can figure this out. This screwdriver is a little big, but I think it might fit in here barely. All right, this is gonna go in here. Now let's open this bad boy up. And you'll push down on this release latch and then pull it to the side. And then it opens up like this. Short notches here. So looks like it's gonna go in as such. Boom. Perfection. All right, now let's see if we can be like the cool kids. Oh snap, what did I break? <laughs> I'm so not a cool kid. It just all popped off. That wasn't exciting at all. Oh well. And then this pushes down and it's really tight. And there you go. 
Now we're down to some Dominator DDR5 16x2, 5600. Now we are going to install the system board. And you know, we've got all the components on there already, so it should be pretty straightforward. However, I think one of the mounting holes is hidden, um, which can be a problem. So let's see, let's see how well this goes in or how easily it goes in. Man, this thing is super heavy. Now another item to be aware of with this case in particular, as we get ready to mount this AIO here and string it down and put it on top of the CPU, there's a mounting plate up here that's supposed to simplify installation uh, of the uh, fans or the AIO or whatever else you put up there. And you also have to use these grommets uh, as well, which are, which are nice, but it does add in an extra step. So let's go ahead and pull off this plate and then we'll see what it looks like to use this to mount. And there are two screws on this side that need to come out to allow this to come free. Now it's time to install the AIO cooler, but there's a gotcha that we need to talk about. So I pulled off some of the back panels here so you can see the backside of the, the system board. Now, usually there's a cutout here that's large enough to get to all of the different mounting points for your cooler. Well, in this case, you can't. <laughs> you can't get to these guys over here. Um, it, they're, they're, they're on the inside of this thing. So uh, what I had to do is pull the system board back off, mount the back plate for the cooler, and then put this back on. So uh, be very careful. If you're, you're running an ATX board, more than likely, it's not gonna work with the cutout in the case. So you'll need to make sure you mount this before you put your system board on, or you'll be swapping it out just like I did and, and doing it twice, which is not fun. Now let's go ahead and take this GPU cooler and get it attached. So it's going to go on something like this. And the thermal paste is pre-applied and I'm going to end up spearing it all over the place anyway, apparently. All right, this will fit on here and there's a uh, 
just a eight pin connector that will push in here. And I hope these are magnets. Um, we have one big piece of cabling that I'm gonna run up through this top grommet. And then this fan header uh, will just plug into the board. So I'm gonna leave it kind of loose. I ended up taking off the uh, plate in the back to make more space. Uh, all in all, it was pretty straightforward to cable everything and the case was pretty accommodating. Um, the uh, video connection though into that video card is a son of a gun. So be careful of that one and make sure you cable up your video card before you put in your AIO at the top because otherwise you're not putting a cable in. Now we're gonna install the three fans across the bottom. And this is our intake, right? So remember, air is gonna come in from the bottom, it's gonna be pushed up, and it's gonna be sucked out the top, right? And then air will be coming in this way, which will move up as well. So there's one thumb screw here that we take out. And then this plate pops out, and we will mount our fans here. Now let's get this power supply installed. Now this is an old one I've had for a while and uh, it's a uh, 1250 watt power supply from OCZ, um, the ZX series guide. It's probably five, six years old, something like that, but should do us just fine in here. Let's see what happens. Now, as you can see, I've removed the hard drive tray from here because I just need extra space in here. So uh, I believe I'll leave this out permanently. Also, I'll leave this uh, uh, bar here out permanently as well. All right, I think we've got everything connected and in place now. Um, <laughs> cabling, yeah, it's not beautiful, but I've never been really good at cable management. Um, no excuses, but you know, it is what it is. So let's see if the back panel will actually go on and stay. Um, I have my doubts, but there's only one way to know for sure. All right, let's see, what do we hit? We are definitely pushing on the power cable, but oh man, look at that, look at that. Beautiful. <laughs> 